working with global variables in Python functions. A global variable is a variable that you can use from any part of a program, including within functions. Using global variables inside your Python functions can be tricky. You'll need to differentiate between accessing and changing the values of the target global variable if you want your code to work correctly. Global variables can play a fundamental role in many software projects because they enable data sharing across an entire program. However, you should use them judiciously to avoid issues. In this course, you'll understand global variables and how they work in Python, access global variables within your Python functions directly, modify and create global variables within functions using the global keyword, access, create and modify global variables within your functions with the globals function, and explore strategies to avoid using global variables in Python code. To follow along with this course, you should have a solid understanding of Python programming, including fundamental concepts such as variables, data types, scope, mutability, functions and classes. If you need to look any further at any of these areas, then RealPython has you covered, and you can use the search function on the site to access courses and tutorials on each of them. Any code that you see running in the REPL will be using the bPython interpreter. This is a replacement Python interpreter that offers a number of enhancements, including code highlighting and suggestions, but any code you see running on screen will work in the standard Python REPL, which is typically accessed by typing Python or Python 3 at your terminal or command line prompt. So now you know what's going to be covered, let's get started. Using global variables in Python functions. Global variables are those that you can access and modify from anywhere in your code. In Python, you'll typically define global variables at the module level. So the containing module is their scope. As you'll see later on, you can also define global variables inside functions. Once you've defined a global variable, you can use it from within the module itself or from within any other modules in your code. You can also use global variables in your functions. However, those cases can get a bit confusing because of differences between accessing and modifying global variables in functions. To understand these differences, consider that Python can look for variables in four different scopes the local or function level scope, which exists inside functions, the enclosing or non-local scope, which appears in nested functions, the global scope, which exists at the module level, and the built-in scope, which is a special scope for Python's built-in names. Let's say you're inside an inner function. In that case, Python can look for names in all four scopes. When you access a variable in that inner function, Python first looks inside the function. If the variable doesn't exist there, then Python continues with the enclosing scope of the outer function. If it's not defined there either, then Python moves to the global and then built-in scopes in that order. If Python finds the variable, then you get the value back. Otherwise, you get a name error. When you launch an interactive session, it starts off at the module level of global scope. In the example on screen, you have outer func, which defines inner func as a nested function. From the perspective of this nested function, its own code block represents the local scope, while the outer func code block before the call to inner func represents the non local or enclosing scope, enclosing inner func. If you call outer func without defining some variable in either of the current scopes, then you get a name error exception because the name isn't defined. As you can see on screen, if you define some variable in the global scope and then call outer func, then you get the value returned on screen. Internally, Python has searched the local, enclosing, and global scopes to find some variable and print its content. Note that you can define the variable in any of the three scopes and Python will find it. This search mechanism makes it possible to use global variables from inside functions. While taking advantage of this feature, you can face a few issues. For example, accessing a variable works, 
but directly modifying a variable doesn't. The access number function works fine. It looks for number and finds it in the global scope. But in contrast, modify number doesn't work as expected. Why doesn't this function update the value of the global variable number? The problem is the scope of the variable. You can't directly modify a variable from a higher level scope, such as global, in a lower level scope, such as local. Internally, Python assumes that any name directly assigned within a function is local to that function. Therefore, the local name, number, shadows its global sibling. In this sense, global variables behave as read-only names. You can access their values, but you can't modify them. The discussion about modifying global variables inside function revolves around assignment operations rather than in-place mutations of mutable objects. You'll learn about the effects of mutability on global variables later on in the course. Getting an unbound local error exception is another common issue you see when you try to modify a global variable inside a function. Consider the function on screen that attempts to use some global variables. Inside print globals, you first print the global variables A, B, and C. Then you update the value of C directly. Finally, you print the updated version of C. You may be expecting the output that you can see on screen. But in practice, this isn't what happens. Instead, you get an error which may surprise you. The problem is that the assignment of C equals 100 creates a new local variable that overrides the original global variable C. So you have a name conflict. The exception comes from the first call to print because at that time the local version of C isn't defined yet. So you get the unbound local error. In practice, this issue most often occurs in augmented assignment operations with global variables. In Python, if your function simply references a variable from the global scope, then the function assumes that the variable is global. If you assign the variable's name anywhere within the function's body, then you define a new local variable with the same name as the original global. Inside a function, you can't access a global variable directly if you defined local variables with the same name anywhere in the function. In the next section of the course, you'll further your understanding of this subject by looking at how to modify a global variable inside a function. Modifying a global variable inside a function. If you want to modify a global variable when inside a function, then you need to explicitly tell Python to use the global variable rather than creating a new local one. There are two ways to do this. The global keyword and the built-in globals function. Here, you'll learn how to use both tools in your code to change global variables from inside your functions. You've already learned that accessing global variables directly from inside a function is completely possible unless you have local variables with the same name in the containing function. Apart from that, what if you also need to change the variable's value? In that case, you can use the global keyword to declare that you want to refer to the global variable. The general syntax to write a global statement is seen on screen. Note that the first variable is required, while the rest of the variables are optional. To illustrate how you can use this statement, think about the counter and increment example. You can fix the code as seen on screen. In this new version of increment, you use the global keyword to declare that you want the function to update the global variable counter. With this statement, you're now able to modify the value of counter inside the function, as you can see on screen.
It's important to note that you need to do the global declarations before you use the target variable. Otherwise, you'll get a syntax error. Here, you try to increment counter without declaring it as a global inside increment, and therefore you get a syntax error. The global statement tells the Python interpreter when you find the name counter in this function, it refers to the global variable, so don't create a local one. In summary, you only need to use the global keyword if you want to reassign the global variable within a function. If you just need to read or access the value of the global variable, then you don't need the global keyword. Python also has a non-local keyword that works similarly to global. It allows you to use non-local variables from nested functions. Non-local variables are those that you define in a function that holds nested functions. These variables will be non-local to the inner or nested functions. The built-in globals function allows you to access the global scope's name table, which is a writable dictionary containing your current global names and their corresponding values. You can use this function to access or modify the value of a global variable from within your functions. This function comes in handy when you have local variables with the same name as your target global variables and you still need to use the global variable inside the function. In this new implementation of print globals, C refers to the local version of the variable, while globals C refers to the global version. Because globals returns a dictionary, you access its keys as you'd access the keys of any other dictionary. Note that you need to use a variable's name as a string to access the corresponding key in globals. The dictionary of names that globals returns is mutable, which means that you can change the value of existing global variables by taking advantage of this dictionary. In this example, you can see how the global variable C still holds the same value. Here's another version of increment. It's a little bit harder to read, but it does work. Here, you've implemented increment by using globals instead of the global keyword. Both implementations work the same, which you can confirm from the content of counter after consecutive calls to the function. Note that using globals to access and update global variables can make your code difficult to read and understand, particularly for large programs. It's generally better to use the global keyword unless you have local variables with the same name as your target globals. In the next section of the course, you'll see how mutability affects global variables.